In this episode of Toys Bag Z, I'm going to take these Voltron figures. I got it from the Mego and Voltron lot. I just finished doing my Voltron restoration. Check that video out. The lot also came uh, with these figures. And it didn't come with this figure, but I just had this sitting on the table. So uh, I think I got this from a, from a flea market just recently. But the problem with these figures, and I usually don't like to whiten my toys... I just like to leave them the way they are, but because they made these figures out of two different white plastics, one plastic starts to yellow more than the other, and it doesn't look that great. These need a lot of paint work and all kinds of stuff to them. So I am going to whiten these. I already have Princess Allura already, and I have her. She's a pretty, she's in a much better shape than this one, but I'm going to do this all anyway at the same time in the same video. You know, whiten these up, do the paintwork on them. And we also have this figure that came, and I was excited about him. He's got a broken leg and the peg in there. And I've done this many times, but might as well do it on film. And then we'll see what these look like uh, with the Voltron Lions that I have. The only one I don't have is Pidge. I'm still looking for him. I'm excited to uh, get these ready and put these into the collection. So what we're going to use is hydrogen peroxide to whiten these. I see people putting hydrogen peroxide and putting these right inside, but I don't want to put these into the hydrogen peroxide. I'll just set them on this. I got this old piece of resin that I was doing some 3D printing on and it didn't turn out very well. So it's just a piece of resin. We'll put these on top like this. and uh, put some hydrogen peroxide in that. I'm just going to put some of this just on the bottom. Seal it up and we'll put this in the sun. Okay, I got these guys sitting on my barbecue. We're going to let that sit in the sun for a while. I do have a 3D printer, and I could put it in my UV light. I have a UV light that I use for curing 3D printed resin, and uh, that would probably work just as well, but it's a beautiful day. I'll let the sun do the job and save some power in my house. <laughs> so here we go. We'll let that sit for, I don't know, an hour, and we'll come back and look at it. If it doesn't work, I'll try submerging the figures right into the hydrogen peroxide. I got lots of that stuff, so we'll be able to fill this container and put them right in it. So I just came out. It's been out here for about three or four hours. Of course, we're in the shade now because my, my son went behind the house. But I just flipped them over because the fronts are much better than the back. I hadn't flipped them over yet, so... It seemed like it worked. This one here is a lot more white on the other side. So I may try it again. There, we'll try that out in the sun over on the other side of the house and see if that changes anything for the back of the figures. So meanwhile, while the other figures are whitening, Hopefully, uh, I'm going to fix this. I've done this many times on my channel. You've seen other people probably do it. But if not, then here's your opportunity. I'm going to use a piece of paper clip. I'm just going to cut a small piece off about, about five millimeters long. I <clears throat> probably don't need all of that, but I always like to cut it a little longer than I need. And then I need to find the appropriate drill bit. So I'm going to use this drill bit. Not really sure how big it is. It looks to me like about 
two millimeters. And we're just going to drill a hole in here, right in the middle. We're gonna drill a hole in here. That's the piece that uh, broke off. It's a separate piece from the other leg. So we're gonna try to glue this to this without gluing the crotch together with it. So here we go, we're gonna drill this out. Try to get it in the center. Don't need to go deep, just a couple millimeters. There, that's good enough. Fun little off center here. That'll be enough. Cut the other end off once it's glued into one side. The squeeze it will make that uh, the peg in there glue to the leg. So there, we're gonna leave that like that. So here's my whitened. Voltron figures. I have all my other figures here. These ones here are ones that have been in my collection for years. And uh, I also have uh, another uh, princess figure. And uh, this is the one that I whitened. Almost the same color now. This one here does have some ink on it. So I'm going to be putting this one into my collection because the one with the ink uh, not only is the paint worse, but uh, I don't want to have to take that ink out. So, and there's ways to do that, but I'm not going to do that today. I just, all I want to do now is I want to paint the rest of these. I'm also actually going to paint the Princess Allura's um, belt buckle here, but the rest of these guys need to be painted. And as you can see here, this figure has been repaired. His leg is glued and it's tight and he actually stands up really nice so that's awesome pretty much have all of these figures i don't have pidge but um let's do some painting and see if we can get these looking tip top shape i've been using this paint lately here i've got the deco art satin paint and i also bought this is for my yellow if you saw um my Voltron Lions, I was uh, painting a part that I made out of styrene and I was having a hard time getting the color. And this paint here is really great paint. I have a local store here in my area that sells a lot of this paint. So I've been using these combinations of these paints along with uh, the Vallejo too. I still use Vallejo sometimes. For some reason, the Vallejo color set that I bought uh, about a year ago. I just haven't been really happy with the way that it mixes. I can't really match any color with those paints. So I've gone on to try other kinds of paint.
Okay, so now I have to try to match the red to uh, paint this guy's uh, red here. And I think that this paint's going to be a little, well, the paint on his boots, that's a pretty good match, actually. That's almost a perfect match right out of the bottle. So I'm going to use that. Straight up. Now let's do the blue. I have um, this for the blue, but I think this blue is going to be a little too dark, and that's on Lance. So let's uh, see if we can match some blue. I think it's a little dark, actually. It's uh, pretty close. It's a little too bright. Might need to add a little little touch of black to it. That looks pretty good. All right. Let's fill all this blue in. All right, that blue looks really good. I'm going to let all this uh, color paint the red. And the, I did a second coat of the yellow. And I'm going to let the blue dry. And then we have to do the hair, which pretty much all these guys have the exact same color hair. But we also have to do the gold on their belt buckles. They all have the exact same gold on the belt buckle. And you can see that Princess Allura also has a gold belt buckle. And it may not be easy to see the gold color. I think that this is the gold that they're using here on Hunk's helmet. When I looked at pictures online, that gold looks like the gold that I'm seeing on their belt buckles. So we'll let this dry. And with the magic of uh, video, um, we'll be back in a couple of seconds. And then we'll paint the hair and the bell buckles. Wow, they're really starting to look good. Let's do the brown. The brown is pretty dark, so I'm gonna use this flat brown and this flat black. Hopefully I can get the color I'm looking for. I think I got the color. 
Yep, that looks pretty good. All right, I did a little, little bit of the yellow and uh, black on this guy. All right, we got one more thing left to do on these figures other than putting a varnish on any of the paints that I used, which was the Vallejos, for any of the matte paint, which I mainly did on the hair. So I really wasn't going to put varnish anywhere else. But we have one more thing to do. And this is going to be the trickiest. I already did it on Princess Allura. If you can see right there, I'll zoom it here for you. That's the emblem on her patch. And it has a very small logo. But if you look at the rest of their patches, they're a little bit bigger. So I figured if I could do it on this one, which I surprisingly did, it took me a while, but I, I'm going to show you a tool that I used. We're going to be using this. This is a dental tool, and it's got a very, very fine tip on it. Right now I have paint on it, and uh, we're going to use that. Now, all of the emblems are the same color. They're all black. So I'll show you how I did this. Hopefully I can do this again. Just used the pick and got a little bit more off. So there's my next one. That one's hard to see because it's in blue, but. It's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. So there's my Panache Place.
collection here. All the figures fixed with the leg joints and the paint, the logos on their chests. We've got the lions working with the new earpiece and the canopy that I showed you how to make with a heat gun and some clear acrylic. That's just a look at what you can do with a couple really easy techniques. We've got some chrome paint going on and uh, I think they look fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to my channel if uh, you feel that this video has earned your subscription. I really appreciate it and stay tuned for more videos. I've got lots of ideas coming up really soon. If you could hit that notification bell for new videos and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.